Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Balance with Babs. My name is Babs. Today's practice will be a gentle, low to the ground flow to really reduce tension in the mind and the body. So we will focus a lot on opening our heart, opening our hips, and reciting a mantra of letting go. So you would benefit from having a nice blanket, a pillow to sit up on, and two blocks. So let's get started. So let's come sit up on a little bit of a cushion. So whether that's a pillow or a blanket, or you can put the blanket, if you have a pillow and a blanket, place the blanket so that your knees fall onto it. So it's a little bit of a support here. The pillow under your bottom helps to elevate the hips slightly so that the knees can relax a little bit more. And then just gently place your hands in your lap. Maybe the fingertips connect slightly here. And then start to relax any tension in the neck and the jaw. Release the shoulders. Find the softening of your face. Taking a breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Putting yourself first today. So really just be here with yourself, listening to your breath. And freeing your body of any worries, stress, tension, or maybe anger. Just let, letting go of what you've been holding on to. We'll begin the practice with a guided meditation. So in your mind, I'd like you to inhale and say, I choose. On the exhale, in your mind, say, to let it go. Inhale, I choose. Exhale, to let it go. Imagine with each exhale, the body is just melting all of its tension away onto the mat, onto the floor. Feel this wave of tension just releasing from the jaw. All you have to do in this moment is sit here Maintain a tall spine and just listen to your breathing. If your mind starts to wander, just bring it back to our guided mantra, inhale, I choose. Exhale to let it go.
then gently blink open the eyes, bring the palms together and heart center. Take a breath in together and exhale, side out. <sighs> Another breath in. Exhale. <sighs> and then let's rub our hands together to create some heat. We're gonna intentionally place the energy in certain parts of the body. So move the hands, create some friction, heat, and then take the heels of the hands to the cheekbones, cup the eyes, close the eyes, feel the darkness, feel the heat and energy from the hands sink in to our eyes. Settling, easing our optic nerve. pressure of the heels of our hands, just giving a gentle acupressure sinus relief. And then release that, bring the hands back together, inhale breath, exhale sigh it out, and then rub the hands together again, rub, rub, rub. And then place the hands one on top of the other, right to the heart. Feel the hands, the pressure into the sternum, into the heart center. Maybe listening to the heartbeat, feeling the heartbeat. Feeling the comfort of your own warmth your own energy sinking into the center. And then hands come back together, breath in through the nose. Side out. <sighs> Last time, rub the hands. Move the hands. Find some heat, find some warmth, intentional energy. And then place that right to the hips. So one hand on one hand, hip, one hand on the other. Feel the warmth. Notice the rise and fall of the lower abdomen as you breathe. come together heart center tilt the chin in slightly turning your intention inward to really focus on letting go here so whatever has happened prior to this class or what's going to happen in the future just know that you do not have to worry think about any of this, all you have to do right now is be here, move and enjoy your practice. And then hands to the knees, allow the chin to continue to fall down towards the chest, relaxing both of the shoulders. Looking down at the belly as you inhale, notice the rise and exhale, notice the fall. And then lift the head and chin back up. Let's roll the shoulders up, back, and down, opening up the heart space. Let's add the arms with it. So swimming the arms, maybe little circles with the hands, or big circles rather. Just allow yourself to move freely with each breath. Just beginning, soften everything that you're not using. So relax the toes, make sure that they're not scrunched. And then place the hands behind the head, thumbs right by the neck, and then inhale, open through the chest, peel the elbows back. Breath in here and out. And then release the right hand down. Inhale, open up through that left armpit 
and exhale, you're gonna just tilt in, just finding a little bit of spinal rotation as you bring that elbow towards the right knee. And then inhale, lift back up. Exhale, just finding that cross body rotation, elbow towards knee. Inhale, open, find the opening in the chest, in the armpits, in the breast. And then exhale, melting down. Two more at your own pace. And know that you can keep your eyes closed for this whole practice, or you can keep a soft gaze down, whatever feels best, whatever helps you to dive a little bit deeper, to release tension in areas that you might not have known. And then release the hand coming to the opposite side right hand behind the head, thumb lies right next to my neck. Inhale, open through the chest. Exhale, elbow towards knee. And maybe notice the first time you do this, you might not be able to quite reach the knee, but maybe on that fifth time, can you find a little bit more opening, a little bit more chest expansion, a bit more contraction. This is opening up through the outside of our hip, using the core to contract you down. One or two more times. And then releasing the hand down, palms, place gently and but firmly onto the knees, feeling a sense of grounded by really pushing down. And then we'll lift the left palm up. So now you have one palm up, one palm down. Relax the shoulders and just notice the difference. Feel maybe the engagement of that palm up shoulder opening. Take a breath in and out here, and then switch. Left palm comes down, right palm comes up. You just notice the difference here with that slight opening through that right shoulder. And then both palms come down again. And then we'll bring our hands a little bit towards the hip bones. And so we're gonna do a little bit of rotation movement. So as you slide that left hand down towards the knee, you're gonna turn your chest towards the right. And then switch. So right hand slides down the thigh. Gentle rotation in the center of the body. So inhale as you come to center. Exhale as you twist and rotate. Maybe on this last round, the neck gets a little bit more involvement. Look over the shoulder and then back to center. Go over the opposite shoulder and then back to center. Wonderful. Let's place both hands, palms, come back into heart center, reconnecting with our intention of letting go. And then reach the palms up towards the sky as high as you can, biceps by the ears. So really try to straighten through the arms, maybe gaze up. And then exhale, reach the arms all the way out and down. And then you're gonna scoop up from the center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fingers melt all the way down. Three more, inhale, really scoop that energy from the center of your being up and out. And just imagine this as a little bit of a cleansing routine. So all of the chakras, you're reaching their root, sacral, solar, heart, throat, third eye, crown, and opening the crown to reach one another. 
Last one here. And then we'll interlace the hands behind our back. Release the index finger. Try to get the palms to touch. It's okay if they don't. Roll the shoulders back. Lift the chin up slightly. And just breathe here. Take another breath in. Exhale, relax. Let the arms go. And then we're going to grab for opposite elbows here. And then inhale, you're gonna lift the arms up so that the head snuggles right in between. Exhale, slowly lower so those elbows melt down towards the ribs. Inhale to lift. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Last two here, inhale, exhale. Last one, really open up the chest and exhale. And then release the hands. We'll take our fingertips right below the ribs. So find the very edge of the ribs and you're just gonna gently give yourself a little massage that's helping to Release any tension in between the ribs and the connection between the ribs and the internal organs. So just give yourself a gentle myofascial release, trying to just break away any of that tension. Maybe giving yourself a little bit of massage in between the ribs, the intercostal muscles. These muscles really help us to expand our breath, so keeping them nice and loose, maybe using the heel of your hand just to give yourself a gentle rub. So just independent opportunity to explore. Are there any areas of tenderness? And then release the hands down for seated cat and cow. So inhale, chin and chest forward. Exhale, lead with the slow but controlled movement of scooping the tailbone up, puffing up the back of the heart, then tucking the chin. And then the chin guides you forward, comes between the arms, lift up, spread the chest. And then exhale, round, contract, control, movement. Just feeling free in the spine to go slowly moving the spine in both directions. As you come forward, you open up through front body. And as you come back, you contract the front body, open up through the heart space in the back. Three more like this. And then back to center. Let's find a little bit of a circle movement. So coming forward, scooping back and around and really staying present with the sensations you're feeling. So notice the breath as you come forward. Exhale round, maybe tucking the chin, letting the head become involved with the movement. And then reverse the circle, go in the opposite direction. back to center. We'll keep the bolster or the pillow underneath the hips here. Actually, I'm going to come this way. So keep that where it is. And then if you have a blanket or another pillow nearby, grab that and we're going to place it underneath our knees. So place the heels onto the mat, hands just gently on the thighs. And then start to allow the legs to straighten. So there's still a subtle bend in the knees. So just moving slowly with opening up our hips today. 
And then we'll inhale, reach the arms forward out in front of you. And then just gently, slowly start to hinge at the hips, keeping the chest and the chin lifted. And you might notice a strong sensation right there. So if so, stay here and breathe. Maybe grabbing onto the shins or the thighs to really lift the upper body up to create a stronger spine. And then with each exhale, maybe melting a little bit deeper. What do you feel right now? Can you release tension in the shoulders? And then slowly guide your way back up. And then we'll bend the knees a lot so the heels come on to the mat, the feet come on to the mat. Hands to the shins. Inhale to broaden to the chest, lift through the shoulders, lift through the neck. And then exhale, slowly start to hinge down, creating a little ball with your body. Feeling a stretch through the mid spine, that thoracic spine the spinal muscles that are on each side of the spine. Maybe a slight hip stretch, but just creating a little bit of a ball with your body. Remembering the intention of putting yourself first, of letting go of things you can't control, and of just being here with your breath. And then lift the head and the chest back up. We'll extend the legs again, maybe keeping the blanket underneath or maybe removing the blanket this time, seeing if the legs will straighten a little bit more or you can always keep them bent. And then inhale, arms come out straight in front of you. And then exhale, reach forward with the arms and then slowly melt over the legs. Staying here for five more breaths. Sliding up the legs. We'll bring the left foot into the inner right thigh. And then inhale, reach your arms forward. And then shift your torso over that right leg. And then slowly reach forward again and hinge over that right long leg. The knee again can be bent here if that feels better. But really try to focus Rather than stretching that right long leg, think about that left outer hip really trying to open up. So even if you take the left hand to that thigh to push away for a moment, really try to get that side grounded first and then hinge over. So as much of a stretch and a release you're finding in that right hamstring, right calf, right Achilles, you're also opening through that left side hip. Take three more breaths here. And then guiding yourself back up, switching sides here. Extending left leg, right foot comes to the inner portion of that left thigh. And again, just really pushing that right knee and thigh away. 
So sometimes it has a tendency to kind of hike up. So really try to push that right leg away as you extend that left leg. And then inhale, arms come out in front of you, reach forward. And right here, push that right knee down. You can probably feel it already trying to hike up. And then slowly guide yourself over that left leg. So the more you engage your body to maybe lean over towards the left a little bit, you'll feel that right outer hip stretch. The more you melt down, bending the elbows, the more you'll feel it in that left hamstring and calf. So notice where the tension arises and just breathe into it. Two more breaths. And then lifting up, bringing both feet back on the mat, hands to the shin here, shins. And then just a little bit of movement, rocking on the pelvis to release any tension. So bring chin and chest forward, and then just round with the back, scoop the tailbone under. So just finding a little bit of rocking movement. And then we'll bring our legs out towards the side, removing that pillow from underneath you. And we're gonna come into all fours. So if it is helpful, place that blanket or pillow underneath the knees to give you a little bit more comfort. And then make sure that the blocks are near you. So the blocks are right out in front of you. Spread the fingers nice and wide, open them up like starfish, and then tuck the toes under. And then gaze is just down straight at your mat. Draw the shoulder blades back so you feel like there's a long line of energy from the crown of your head to the root, to the tailbone. So just sturdy, strong here. And then your next inhale, flowing through cat and cow, lifting chin and chest, and then rounding and contracting through. Four more like this, inhale, and exhale. And then coming off of one wrist, rolling the wrist around, planting it back down, rolling the opposite wrist around. And then we'll take those five circles in one direction like we did in a seated posture, and then five circles in the other direction. Moving with ease. Inhale to scrunch the face up tight, and then exhale, ah, let it all go. And then reverse the circle. And then coming back, we'll tuck our toes under, hips towards the heels for a little toe stretch here. And then grabbing onto opposite elbows, inhale, lift. Exhale, elbows into the ribs. Four more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale, lift, exhale, last 
last one here. Inhale, lift the arms, stretching up. Exhale, back, and then come off the toes. Ooh, that's a little stretchy there. And then staying here on the knees for a moment, we're gonna begin that slow breath awareness one more time. So scooping from the root, coming all the way up, inhale, exhale, melting away, inhale, exhale, three more. And then interlace behind your back, release the index, palms come together. This time really pulling the shoulder blades back, lifting up the chin. Breath in and then release it here. Shake out the wrist, shake out the body here. And then we're gonna take those blocks onto the highest setting. Hands to the blocks, palms meet. And then we're gonna take our right foot forward in between the blocks for a supported lunge. So bring that left knee back slightly. You can stay on the blanket for some support. And then let's lift up those front toes and then place them down. And then lift up the front heel and then place it down. And then with your palms connected to the block, see if you can push through the palms to give you the leverage to lift through the chest, open up feeling the stretch through that left leg. Breathing here. And then slowly coming up onto the thigh with both hands. Use the hands to push the thigh away so that the chest comes back, lifts up few breaths here and then hands come by your sides and then inhale reach the arms all the way up relax the shoulders and then hands come down into heart center coming back onto the blocks and then slowly lifting those toes up to stretch through this runner's lunge. Again, lifting through the chest. And then planting the foot back, bring the right block to the inside next to the left block. Heel toe that right foot out towards the side into our lizard lunge. Coming onto the blade edge of that right foot. That knee starts to push away and staying here or maybe using the right hand to again pull your upper body away from the thigh. And then coming back to center, framing that foot again with the blocks, tucking the back toes, we'll lift the back knee, and then place that back foot onto the mat so that it's now on an angle. So the left toes are pointing towards the left side of the mat. This is our pyramid. So try to widen the legs so that the hips are both facing forward. Inhale to find length, push through the blocks, and then exhale, melt over that right leg. And 
and then position your blanket back. If you moved it, coming onto the toes of the left leg, drop that back knee down, and then engage the core, lift through the core so you can bring that right knee back. Coming up, roll the shoulders. as we begin the other side. So now hands to the blocks. We'll bring that left foot forward. And then find a good distance between that front foot and the back knee. So you wanna really feel the opening in that front thigh. Left knee over left ankle. And then find the engagement of the foot. So lift the toes up and then plant them down. And then lift the heel up and then plant it down. And then just breathing here, lifting through the chest. And then slowly walking your hands up the thigh, push your hands against the thigh as you lift up. And then last little set here, lift the arms all the way up. Strong engagement of the fingertips, shoulders relaxed, jaw relaxed, gazes forward. Inhale, lift a little bit higher, then exhale, hands to the blocks. Bring the blocks back a few inches so that you can shift the hips back. Left toes come up towards the face. The position of the foot really allows for the different sensations in that left hip. So if you open up the foot a little bit, you'll feel a little bit more on the outside. If you point the toe, you might feel a little bit more on the distal leg, so the calf. So just find the position and we'll stay here for three more slow breaths. And then foot comes down, left block to the inner portion of the left foot. Blocks come together for our lizard lunge on this left side. So open up through that left foot. Right palm can stay planted. Left palm can meet the left thigh to open your body away. Notice how this side feels. Notice if your mind takes you anywhere. Just feel another breath in and out. And then slowly come back to center. Reframe the front foot, coming into our pyramid. So tucking the back toes, lifting the knee, dropping the back foot. Both legs are nice and straight. Inhale to find length. And then exhale, melt over that front extended left leg. Hips are facing forward, legs are wide. And then dropping the back knee, engaging the core so you can bring the left knee back. And then we'll open up into a child's pose. Grabbing that pillow to bring it towards your hips. And then slowly start to extend the arms here. Maybe forehead comes to a block or right down onto your mat. And start to settle in. Feel the elongation of your side body with your arms stretched out. The hips making their way towards the heels. Maybe a soft smile for really engaging your body and mind in your practice. Intentionally letting go of stress in the heart and the hips. And most importantly, letting go of stress and tension in the mind. 
One more breath in here, and then sigh it out. And then slowly make your way up into a seated posture where we begin our class. Cross-legged, eyes soft, blanket for the knees. We'll place our palms together in heart center and we'll rub them to create that friction and heat one more time and you choose where you want this energy, this last bit of intentional healing to go. Place your hands there. Inhale, in your mind I choose. Exhale to let it go. Inhale, I choose. Exhale to let it go. And then we'll reach our arms up for the last time together. Reach them up. Palms come together. Thumbs come to our third eye chakra, connecting mind to body. And then thumbs come to our heart, connecting to our heart center. Sending out love and light to one another and to ourselves. And then we can bow to one another to share our gratitude for our practice and for one another. Namaste.